Hola, hola. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Good evening. ¿Cómo están? I'm fine, you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Vamos a esperar a los demás que se agreguen. Geraldine, creo que tienes un feedback en la voz de que hace que se repita doble aquí. Sí. Por favor, desactiven el speaker si no lo están usando. Gracias. Ok, ¿se recuerdan cuál era el tema del día de ayer? Preguntas con verbo to be. Ok. Perfecto. Muy bien. Vaya. El día de ahora vamos a eh, iniciar con un nuevo tema. Sean todos bienvenidos. Solamente permítanme revisar un dato acá. Ok. Eh, Yesterday's topic was related to possessive adjectives, correct? Yes. Yes? Okay. So, what? I'm going to ask you some questions. What is the possessive adjective for I? My. 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 Okay. The possessive adjective for you? Your. Yours. Okay. And the possessive adjective for he? Yes. 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 And what is the possessive adjective for she? Her. 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 Okay. What's the possessive adjective for it? It is. Okay. It. it. What's the possessive adjective for uh, we? Our. 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 And what is the possessive adjective for they? They. 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 Okay. They. Awesome. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to give me some examples related to uh, uh, using the possessive adjective. The ones that we were studying yesterday. If you wish, just raise your hand icon and then provide me the uh, the example using the possessive adjective. Who wants to be the first one? Any volunteer? Guys? If you want to uh, tell me the sentence, that will be perfect. But I want some volunteers. Volunteers, please. Okay, uh, Geraldine, thank you. Geraldine, I think that you have your microphone off, okay. Uh, my cat is very funny. Okay. My cat it, is very funny. All right. It, it's very dangerous. One more time. It's very dangerous. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, thank you. Sorry, teacher, I don't hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. I need some other volunteers. If you can turn um, your speaker off, Geraldine, because the voice is being repeated. Okay, thank you. So, any other volunteer, please? Disculpe, yo acabo de ingresar. Tal vez me puede refrescar lo que están haciendo. Of course, what we are doing, we are just reviewing yesterday's topic. Yesterday, I sent you some pictures. I mean, I share an information with you related to the possessive adjectives. And you can see the uh, the image on the chat, for example, the possessive adjective for I is my, for you is your, for he is his, for uh, she is her, for we is our, for it is its, for they is their. Okay, Joanne, Stephanie and Stephanie Vides. Also, Norma, can you please turn your cameras on? Okay, thank you. Now, and what everybody is doing is just raising the hand and participating, providing uh, the information, okay? Example, using possessive adjectives. Any other volunteer besides Geraldine? Luis, thank you. Uh, puede ser de lo que sea. The other can say, must be. Exactly. So you can use I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. You can talk about your friends, family, co-workers. Okay, my my mother is a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. She has a very experience in cook. Okay. All right. And what's her last name? Is her, her last la name is her last name is Terry. Okay, thank you. Any other volunteer, please? Any other volunteer? Okay, Selvia, thank you. Hey. Mm -hmm. um, my dog is big, its yeah. name is Grace. Okay, thank you. Great example. Another volunteer. Okay, thank you, Adriana, for the applause. Any other volunteer and the last volunteer. Uh, Adriana, thank you. Good evening. I'm going Good to evening. talk about my best friend. Her name is Sofia. She's yes. a nurse. She works at the hospital. Her favorite hobby is listening to music. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. An applause for everybody. Great. That was awesome. Now, uh, let me go ahead and share with you my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know. By the way, guys, uh, we are going to work with a specific topic, which is going to be on the platform uh, that is related to WH questions with B. That's going to be the main topic. If you can write it down, I'm going to send it to WH questions with B. I'm going to send it to the Teams, I mean, the chat, Zoom's chat. If you can see it, just let me know. Can everybody see it? Yes, no, okay. I see it. All right. Thank you, Alexandra. 
for your answer. Now, since I would like you to write down uh, some information on your notebook, guys, I'm going to share with you an image. And that image is related to WH, WH words. You need to get familiar with that information first. And there you have the first WH word. When do we use WH words? We use WH words to ask questions. For example, you had the first one right there. Can somebody read the first example and when to use it? Volunteers, Alexandra has, Alexandra Yamilev. Go ahead and, and read it, please. You can see the, the image on the chat. Sorry, what do you need? What I want you to do is to read the first WH word and when to use it. The first word is when. When mm -hmm. and we use um for question about the time to ask about the time. Excellent. So that is the first one. We're going to work with the most common ones, but it is very important for you to know when to use those uh, WH words. Okay. So I need another volunteer to read the second one and when to use it. Read the second one and when to use it. Okay, so let's see, any volunteer? No volunteers? I need the help from Norma Leticia. Can you please read the second one and also tell me when to use it. Norma, can you hear? Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Yep. Um, repeat, please. I want you to check the chat, read the second option, and when do we use it? Um, sorry, no understand. Okay, then you understand. Can you, do you have access to the chat? Tiene acceso al chat, al chat de, de, de Zoom. Yes. Okay. If you have access to the chat, you will be able to see an image. And that image has some WH words. The WH words uh, that we are going to work with are very common. However, it is important for you uh, to know when to use them. For example, uh, we were reading the first one and the first one says that we use when to ask about time. And the second one is why. You are going to just read when to use it. Is it clear? Okay. Um, más o menos, eh... Eh, hmm. Siento que le entiendo más cuando lo escucho el siguiente día. Thank you. Oh, really? Okay. It's all right. Don't worry. We are in the learning process, so we are going to continue practicing. Any other volunteer, please? Uh, David, thank you. Hello, or David. Peter. Hi, good evening. And I think uh, the second. The second one. Why uh, uh, why ask about the reason? Okay, we use why to ask about reason. Why? Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. okay. Yes, thank you. It, the next one. Okay. Who wants to read the next one? Which? Kevin, oh, Alexander. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, uh, number three, which? Yes. Ask about choices. Okay, choices. Or you can say okay. options. Okay, choices or options. Okay, when do we use whom? Who wants to read that? Any volunteer? Alexandra Yamilev? 
Okay. Uh, we use this interrogative pronoun. Um, what? Ask for information. Ask okay. for information. Sorry. Okay. So, but that's not the number four. I want somebody to read the number four. Okay, uh, thank you, Adriana. Adriana Garcia, number four, please. Uh, we use whom when we need to ask about choices. Whom about choices? Are you sure? Whom about people? people. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Excellent. We use whom to ask about people. Thank you so much. Uh, Lydia, continue with the next one. You need to go to the chat in order to know what we're talking about. There is the image. Okay. Um, hmm? Todo. No, the next no. one, the next word. Uh, yeah. To uh, uh, ask about people. Uh, uh, um, when do we use what? Process. Mendicate. What? When do we use what? Ask about process. No, what? Can somebody help me to read what? When do we use what? Any other volunteer? I can. Okay. Uh, what? What as? For information. Exactly. We use what, okay. what to ask about information or ask for information. Okay. When do we use where? Who's ready? Sylvia, Esther, thank you. The number six is where mm -hmm. you are going to use as about place. Okay, excellent. We use where to ask about places. And when do we use whose? Any other one? Whose? Who's ready? Who's ready? Uh, Patricia Lifeth. When do we use whose? Mm -hmm. Who's us about possessions? Possessions. Okay. And when do we use who? Who's ready? Who? When do we use who? Who's ready to read that? Okay. Ana Flores. Thank you. Who asks about people? Okay. Excellent. Norma and Stephanie Vides, normally says, please turn your cameras on the same as Patricia Lisset. Thank you. And teacher, yo ya la voy a conectar, que voy ahorita en la calle. Yo llego a mi casa. Ah, okay. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. And the last one, when do we use how? Who is ready to read that? When do we use how? Any volunteer? We must, we must use how when when we need to ask about process. About process. Excellent. Okay. Great. Would you like to write it down? Do you need do you need a minute to write it down or do you write it down? Do you write it down already? Or do you need a minute to write it down? ¿Ya lo escribieron o necesitan un minuto para escribirlo en el cuaderno? Eh, Guys. Lo pueden bueno. mandar al, chat, al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, let's see. Teacher, I finished in my, no in my notebook. On your notebook, okay. Remember that the idea is to take notes, okay? You need to take notes during the class as well. But I can try to send it to uh, the WhatsApp group. Just give me one minute. 
I'm going to copy that one and I'm going to send it straight away. Let's see if I have active WhatsApp right now. I think so. So once you can see it, just let me know, please. I think it's yeah. loading. Okay. Awesome. Well, I think uh, WhatsApp is going to take a little longer because it's still loading. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay, can you see it? And here you have the platform, the one working on. Okay. Um, I need a volunteer to read just in case you have any issue understanding the reading. You also have the translation here in Spanish. Okay, great. I need a volunteer to read um, that, that objective, the lesson objective. Who is ready? Thank you, Jenny Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, principal, principal, participants, participants, sorry, uh, will be uh, will be able to ask and answer questions with mm -hmm. the with the using WH question words, what, who, where, when, and how. Okay, using WH questions words. Okay, what who, where, when, and how. Awesome. Thank you for helping me reading that information. And now let me see. I'm going to move to the next slide on the platform. Let me move it over here. WH questions with P. That's going to be basically our main topic. And if you can listen to, just let me know, okay? Okay, once you can listen to, let me know. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using W. Can you listen to? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Question words. What, who, where, when, and how. First. Let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH Questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word so you know what you're being asked. This way, you will be able to give a correct answer. Okay, awesome. So we use WH, WH words with B. in order to What's ask additional information additional information. I need two volunteers to take the role of a student A and a student B. 
one person is going to ask the question and the second person or the student B is going to answer the questions. Okay, so I have volunteers. Sylvia is there and I'm going to select David. Okay, David and Sylvia, go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, Sylvia, what is your name? My name is Beth. Where is your friend? This is in class. Who's, who's soon he? He's my classmate. Okay. What are your classmates like? They are very nice. Okay. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Who are your classes? They are really interesting. They are really interesting. Okay. They awesome. Are really interesting. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And now, let me go ahead and show you another page in which you are going to combine. If you want to write it down in your notebooks, do it. Okay? Do it. Um, there you have WH questions with B. So the verb to be in English is really simple, okay? The red color is the verb to be, am, is, are. When do we use am? We use am for I. We use is with he, she, and mm -hmm. it. And we use are with we, you, and they. Is it clear? Is yeah. that clear? Yes. Yes, yes, I clear. Okay, awesome. And the combination with the subject and the verb, the verb to be, here you say, I am, you had the subject, a pronoun, first person, I, with the verb to be, that will be, I am, or you also had the contraction, I'm. Okay, I am or I'm, which is the contraction. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, we also have uh, the third person for male. So he with the verb to be is going to be he is. And the contraction will be his. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. We also had the third person for female, which is she. And with the verb to be will be she is. Okay. And the contraction will be she is. She's. She is or she's. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Awesome. And we have the third person for animal, places. You can also talk about objects. With the verb to be will be it is. Mm. But the contraction will be it. It's... Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes, sir. Awesome. And we also have the plural ones. The first person plural is going to be we. With the verb to be, you're going to say we are. Okay, contraction, we're. So you also have the second person plural. You, with the verb to be, you are. And the contraction, your. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, we also had the third person plural. They, with the verb to be, they are. And with the contraction, you're going to say there. Questions? No questions. No, sir. No questions? Okay. So, for example, 
Here you had the contraction, WH word with the verb to be. Okay. Yes. Here you have, instead of saying, what is, which is common to say, what is your name? Instead of saying, what is your name? You're going to say, what's your name? Look, what's your name? What's, what's your name? With the contraction, what's your name? Or you can say, what's your surname? I usually say surname, uh, but that's British. I'm going to use last name. What's your last name? Okay, Luis, what's your last name? Uh, my last name is Mejia. Okay, Sylvia, what's your middle name? Uh, is this second name? Yes. The middle okay. name is your second name, correct. Okay, my little name is mm -hmm. Esther. Esther, okay, awesome, great. Now, I want you to select some of your classmates and you are going to ask this question, okay? What's your, but you are going to use a different information, okay? So, Luis, I would like you to select one of your classmates. Luis is going to select one of your classmates and you are going to use that question. What's your? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but let's do it like this quickly. I, I, I have to select. People. You need to select, you need to select a classmate and you are going to ask uh, this question. Okay, uh, Stephanie Vides. Okay, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. What's your first name? What's your first name? My first name is Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, select another classmate and ask Pat the same question. Patricia. Patricia. Patricia, what is your first name? What's your first name? My first name, first name, pardon, Patricia. It's Patricia, okay. Uh, Patricia, select another classmate. Remember guys, that you can ask about different information. You can ask about your family, you can ask about your, mm. your dog, what's your favorite color, what's your, uh, best type of music, okay? You can ask about different things, not only about your names. Okay, Patricia, select one of your classmates. Geraldine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Geraldine. Uh, what's your favorite music? My favorite music. Type of music. Pop. My favorite type of music is pop. Okay, Geraldine, select okay. one of your classmates. Ask a question. Let's do it like this guy, quickly. Ender. Okay. Ender, what is your favorite movie? Uh, it's me. What is your favorite movie? What's your um, favorite movie? My favorite movie is Django China. Okay. Uh, Offender, select one of your classmates. Uh, uh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, what is your favorite food? Excellent. Uh, my favorite food are tacos and pupusa. Okay. Awesome, Kevin, select one of your classmates. Uh, uh, Jose Alejandro. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite animal? Uh-huh. My favorite animal is dog. Okay, Jose Alex Alejandro, select one of your classmates. Uh, Ale Alexandra. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite color? 
My favorite color is black. Okay, Alexandra, select one of your classmates. I select two, Adriana Garcia. Adriana. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, sir. Yes. Sí. Okay, Alexandra, ask the question. What's your phone number? Oh, Excellent. sorry. Excellent. Your... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's your phone my... number? Yes. Excellent. Phone... I like it. My phone number is 607-11337. Excellent. Okay. Now, here you have the contraction where's. Instead of saying where is, instead of saying where is, you are going to say where's. Okay. Um, I'm going to select one classmate and I'm going to say, where's your uh, brother now? Where's your brother now? And that question is going to be for Jose Alejandro. Where's your brother now? Where's your brother now? Jose Alejandro? Jose Alejandro Valladares, are you here? Hola, hola. Sí, sí. Okay. Where's your brother now? Um, is your is your name? No. Uh, my brother. Um, you can say my brother. My brother is at work. My brother is in his bathroom. My brother is, is in the cafeteria. My brother is a house. Mm -hmm. My brother is in his house. Okay. Now, Jose Alejandro, I want you to select one of your classmates. Um, Where's your? Silvia. Uh huh. Who are you going to select? Where? Where is your? ¿A quién vas a seleccionar para hacerle la pregunta? A Silvia. Silvia. Where's your mother now? Where is your mother I'm... now? My mother is on your house. In her house. Okay, mm -hmm. remember that you can ask about different things, different places. So for example, you can say, where's your favorite restaurant located? Okay, where's, uh, where is your TV located in your house? Okay, you can ask different questions. Different options. Silvia, select one of your classmates. Okay, Leilan. Leilan Garcia. Uh huh. Where, where, um, where is? Where's your um, dog sleeping? Okay. No, I, no, I think. And um, are you know where's? Where the bank? They know where. I, uh, I okay. Um, I think that you need to ask a different question. For example, um, where's, where's your best friend living? Where's okay. your best friend living? Where's where your best friends living. Mm -hmm. Silvia? Silvia? Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My best friend living in 
Marcus Catancingo. Okay, Leila, select another classmate and ask one of the questions. I mean, one question <laughs> using that structure. Uh, Lydia? Mm -hmm. Lydia, where is your pet? Where's your pet? Okay. If she doesn't answer, you can select another one. Repeat. Okay. Lydia, where is your pet? My pet uh, in, um, in the house. Okay. okay. It's in the house. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now we have the the next contraction. When do we use who, by the way? According to the information I sent you, when do we use who? Guys? For, 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 ask, ask for people? About people. To ask about people. And when do we use where? Uh, to ask about places. To ask about places. And when do we use what? When we need to ask about, about information. information. For information. Extra information. Excellent. You also have the next word, which is whose. Or you can also say who is. Who is. For example, you can say, who's your best friend? Your best friend. Okay, and the question goes to Kevin Alexander Hernandez. Who's your best friend, Kevin? Uh, my best friend is a student. I'm sorry? My best friend is a student. Okay, and what is your best friend's name? My best friend's name is Eduardo. Okay, thank you. Select another classmate, please. Okay, going to select to Alexandra. Okay. Uh, who is your who's uh, who is your who's classmate? your favorite okay or you can ask who's your favorite soccer player okay who is your favorite soccer player my favorite soccer player is um cristiano ronaldo excellent okay select another classmate please okay I uh, select to uh, Leila. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, sorry. Who is your favorite actress? Excuse me? Who is your favorite actress? Who's your favorite actress? Actress. Actress. And uh, my favorite actress is. Mm, La Unión? Mm, no. Um, I'm Who is talking your favorite about... actor? Actress. Actress. Uh, no sé si estoy pronunciando bien, pero bueno, estoy preguntando sobre. Who is oh, your favorite actor? Ah, uh, actor. Actriz favorita. Ah, <laughs> es que le escuché dirección. <laughs> I don't have. You don't have a favorite actor. Okay, select another one, please. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Norma. Okay, Norma. Uh, Norma, who is your um, favorite pet? Uh, when do we use who? Ah, okay. I, I don't know. 
When do we use foo? Guys, when do we use foo? People. Uh, the people person. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so if we ask about people, can we ask, I mean, can we use uh, who for animals or pets? Uh, who is your favorite friend? Okay, who's your favorite friend or your best friend? Guys, okay, Adriana, select one of your classmates, please, and ask the question. Okay, I select to Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie. Who's your favorite teacher? Um, he is very funny and he is interesting. And who is your favorite teacher? Uh, what's his name? His name is Jonathan. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Now, and there you have what are I can say, what are your parents names what are your parents names what are your parents name what are your parents names and the question goes to uh, Brenda Claribel what are your parents names my parents names uh, Olga or uh, only one. Only the first name, if you wish. Okay. The first name. And uh, the first name in the parents' name um, is Steven. Okay. So, for example, if you ask me the same question, I would say, my father's name is Juan, oh. and my mother's name oh. is Leticia. Okay, my... My son's name is Steven. I'm asking about your father and mother. What are your parents' names? Oh, oh, what are your sorry, parents' sorry. names? My, my mother's name is Norma Leticia. Okay. Um, my father's name is Elias Antonio. Okay, thank you. I want you to select one of your classmates and ask a question, please. Uh, okay, um, select uh, Kevin Alexander. Okay. Okay. Um, what are your favorite um, role models? One more uh, time. What are your favorite role models? This what is, are good. I can say good. what are your favorite TV programs, for example? Oh, okay. TV programs. What are your favorite TV programs? Uh, my favorite TV program is um, La Familia Peluche, for example. Okay. What are your favorite TV programs? Plural, more than one. Okay, Lydia, select, select one of your classmates and ask a question using what are. Adriana. Mm -hmm. Adriana Garcia. Um, what are your um, classmates? Uh-huh. Uh, 
classmates save yes my classmates are Sylvia and Joanna okay excellent and let's continue with the next one where are Where are you from? Okay. Where are you from, for example? If I ask you, uh, Joanna, where are you from? What will be your answer? Joanna Stephanie? Johanna Stephanie Magaña. Okay, let me select another person. Let's see Norma Lisset Crespin. If I ask you, where are you from? What will be your answer? Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. I'm, a, I'm asking for your names, but you don't answer. Uh, Alexandra Yamiles, eh, if I ask you, where are you from? What will be your answer? I'm from El Congo. Okay. Remember that we usually ask, what, uh, where are you from for countries? Okay. So oh, I'm from El Salvador. Okay, if you live in the United States, you are going to say, I'm from the USA. Okay, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Um, in this one, you can say, how are you? If I ask you, Kevin Alexandre, how are you? What will be your answer? I'm pretty good, thanks. Okay, I'm pretty good, thanks. Or you can also say, how are you doing, which is the same. Okay, questions so far? Do you have any question, guys? Or, Yo, teacher, uh -huh. una pregunta. Cuando, cuando usted hizo la pregunta de, eh, what is your name, parents? ¿Cuál es el nombre de tus papás? Uh -huh. es, What are your es, parents' names? Yes. It's, it's correct to say they, their name is... Es correcto. O sea, se puede ocupar el they. Their, para... their names are... Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is sí. correct. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Let's continue with... The next one. Segunda pregunta. Yes. Si contesta their name are, tendrían que llamarse igual. Their names are. Maybe their uh, first. No, como es apellido. Surname. If, uh, if you ask me, what are your parents? surnames or what are your parents last names you can say uh their last names are hernandez and perez my father uh, okay. my father last name is hernandez my mother's last name is perez okay thank you okay excellent all right so let's continue with the information here on the page, which is the platform. And let me go ahead and check the knowledge. There you have this information right here. And it says knowledge check. WH questions would be instructions. Complete these questions using WH questions words. Click on the correct answer. 
there you also have the information in Spanish, if you don't understand. Okay, so Kevin, what option are you going to select? One, two, and th or three? Who, who's that? I'm sorry? Who's that? Number three. Okay. And complete the information, please. Who's that? Okay. Who's that? Oh, oh, that's Mrs. Smith. Okay. Excellent. Great. I want you to select one of your classmates, please. Mm, Stephanie. Stephanie. <clears throat> Stephanie? La segunda. Please, thank you. Is one, where's she from? She, she's from Miami. Okay. Where is she from? She's from Miami. Okay. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, select one of your classmates. David. Okay, David. Oh. Um, I think who who's her first one? Are you sure? Yeah, no. Sure. Who's who's her first name? No. No. It's not correct. And um, those what what her first name? What's her first name? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. It's it's Celia. Thank you, David. Select one of your classmates. Um, let me see. Hector Jose. Hector. Mm -hmm. Hector Jose Onilla. Ready? Yeah, tell me. Okay, can you please select one of the options and complete that number four? I chose the number two. Who are mm -hmm. the two students over there? Mm -hmm. And the answer is their names are Jeremy and Karen. Thank you. Hector, select one of your classmates. And let me see. Mm. And um, I select Ana Flores. Ana, what option will you choose? I'm going to select the first one. Where are okay. they from? Mm -hmm. They're from Vancouver, Canada. Thank you. Okay, Ana, select one of your classmates. I'm going to select to normally set. Norma, what option will you choose? Okay, Norma, that's an answer, Anna. Select another one, please. Um, I'm going to select to... Lydia de Cortez. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are they like? They shy but very friendly what are they like okay they are shy but very friendly okay let me go ahead and see the information okay let's submit the request what are they like mm. Who are they? Is who are. Who are they? How are they like? How do they like? Okay, that will be that one then. Okay, great. If you see, that's the way it works. Do you have any questions? 
No, no, I don't no have questions, any questions at all. Okay, awesome. Now, let me go ahead and check the next option that we have here. Just give me one minute. Okay, let's continue with the next one. And it says, a uh, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people um, where just no questions and short answers with B are introduced. Okay, let me go ahead and play it. And tomorrow we're going to practice that uh, this conversation that we're going to listen to right now. Once you can listen to, let me know, please. In this lesson, participants will listen. Can you listen to? Yes, I'll listen. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. To a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how San He and David ask each other yes, no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are going to practice this conversation tomorrow, okay? Because right now, it's time to let you go. Okay. This is the conversation that we're going to practice tomorrow. I'm going to just show it to you. And we're going to take the role of a student A and the student B. This is going to be the same conversation, however, Instead of using the person's name on the video, you are going to use your name. Like, for example, I'm going to say, hey, David, how is it going? Okay, and David is going to answer, fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, okay, thanks. How are you? but we're going to practice tomorrow because it's time to let you go. If you have not eaten anything, bon appetit and see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice okay, night. Okay, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Good, Good night. Night. Bye. Thanks, teacher. Goodbye. You're welcome. See you tomorrow.